Hi guys, welcome back to another review. Today I'll be talking about another one of my probably favorite games of all time. Uh, they're probably, uh, it's on at minimum my top 10. I would probably not put it in five, the top five, but it is like maybe six or seven for me. Uh, that will be Terraria. Uh, Terraria was a game that came out actually kind of a fair bit long ago, May 16th of 2011 by Relogic. Um, it was also published by Relogic. Um, it was a game that wasn't necessarily attempting to oppose Minecraft when launching. It just kind of fell into the same category. Um, they're very similar. People consider them kind of like in a cousin sense of each other. Um, they're similar, but different enough that they're, they are absolutely two completely different games. Um, Terraria uh, has this, uh, the point is that it's a sandbox open adventure action game that uh, the whole thing is you're set into a world. Uh, you have to survive in this world by means of combat. You have to build shelters for yourself and there's a bunch of NPCs to build shelters for. Uh, every NPC does something for you. It either they'll uh, sell you something or help in some way. Uh, but the whole game is you just trying to kind of build towards the next big thing. Um, there's a bunch of bosses in this game. I don't remember the exact number, but it is above like 40 or 50 bosses, I think, in this game or something like that. There's so many. Um, this game has been wonderful to me, at least since the very start. Um, I played pretty early on into its launch. I want to say uh, I do remember playing it in 2012, 2011, 2012 or 13, like really soon in, probably when it didn't have too much of the, the current stuff it has now. Um, but it, it fit super well. I loved it. Every second of it. Um, it is the kind of game you'll sink a ton of time into. It has its ability to be super difficult if you want that kind of thing, or it can be you know, as breezy as you like it kind of thing. Um, it is a game for builders as well, which I think is amazing. Um, many games will try to be suited towards one audience, but this kind of puts itself towards as many audiences as you like. Um, it is one of those games that is probably a little better with friends. Um, it's been hard uh, for me to play with friends just because um, when I was younger, a lot of the time I didn't have that many friends that kind of were into the same kind of video games as me they were always into like the more mainstay kind of gta or call of duty or stuff like that um so this one was one i always pretty much had played by myself uh it is hard to put into words in my opinion how much this game really helped me out a bit i'm um, especially beginning a pandemic um I sat down, I was feeling a bit blue because I was like, I couldn't see my friends. Um, I was kind of stuck at home for a long time because my father was uh, uh, at risk kind of thing. He never got really super sick. He did in the beginning, um, but he recovered pretty well from it. But um, because he was at risk, I stayed home for quite a long time. Uh, Terraria was pretty much what I started the pandemic with. And it felt amazing just to sit down, really play through the game, really like breathe it all in again. I probably picked up this game like 14, 15 times. I want to say I haven't beaten it that many times. I get pretty close with a lot of them, but the last boss was pretty difficult until the last time I played him. And then I really tore into him. I was like, I'm going to beat him this time. I know I will. And I did. It was so exhilarating for me to finally have beaten this game. But I'll begin talking about a lot of the more mechanics of it. Um, you might have actually seen me play it a couple times on the channel. Um, I played it once as like a regular Let's Play, I think, and then I played it. I didn't play too much of it. It wasn't getting super many views as other things were, so I was like, eh, people don't really want to see this, apparently. Um, and then I played it again, trying to do a different touch on it and then that also was kind of going the same way and I'm like I don't really want to play through something again just for it to kind of feel like this 
Um, especially because I, I, this is a game I'm willing just to play by myself uh, in my free time. Um, it does offer so much. And so to start with it, I'll talk about the base mechanics. You have about three to four different tool weapons, tool items to start with. Uh, you'll have your axe, a, a pickaxe. Um, you'll have to build a hammer and you'll get, um, I think, one other tool. I'm trying to remember that gets... I, actually, I think that's it. It's axe, pickaxe, and your hammer for tools. And then your weapon can range from a lot of things. This game does have a pseudo class system in it that isn't officially a class system, but is is pretty much a class system. Where you have your uh, melee fighters, your ranged fighters, um, your uh, summoners, which is really cool, and then your mages. There's four types. Um, they're really interesting to play all of them. Um, because the game style is not super intensive, they could go really cool with a lot of stuff, which is smart. Um, my favorite weapons were the yo-yos. Those are technically a melee class, but they're like really long melee. They're really fun to play with. I always loved playing them. Um, pretty much you'll have to chop down trees, uh, build, uh, cut down into stone, into dirt, into ores. You can refine ores. You can build a whole... Uh, like base and everything um, out of pretty much most materials. There's so many customization items for materials and bases and everything. There's a lot of vanity items. If you really want to make your character look real unique, um, they have a lot of customization in that alone, which is also they, you can paint into things and make them different colors and dye your clothing. God, there's so many things to this game. Um, you can build up armor sets that have different little effects here and there. Uh, you can have uh, a bunch of tiers of your uh, uh, home for different NPCs. They did introduce in an update that NPCs had a more favored location they want to live in throughout the world. There's different biomes um, that you can place them in uh, after building a base there for them. Um, and they'll either be happier or sadder. It's better, of course, to have them happier than otherwise. And so it's really interesting. It does host a whole set of different kind of cool build things. Uh, the bosses are absolutely incredible in this game. Uh, for this game, not really like having, you know, realism as its property. Every boss looks incredible in the style. It is super cool. Um, the first one you'll typically fight is uh, Slime King, uh, yeah, Slime King, or Eye of Cthulhu, or anything like that, um, which puts some lore perspective in there for you. Um, but uh, they're all so interesting to fight. I won't talk about too many of them because it's really cool to see them pop up when they pop up and when you get to them. Just know uh, that. Uh, pretty much you're going to be experiencing a whole host of very unique, very interesting, and sometimes hard bosses in this game. Um, there's a bunch of, of course, regular enemies throughout the game. You got your basic zombies, your little slimes, to um, say even uh, uh, like fairies almost, or uh what are they called let me see like i little little eyes of cthulhu like mini eyes that fly around they're kind of gross but they are one of the basic units you'll fight in the beginning pretty much it, it's one of those games that has such a wonderful art style uh and lets you do most of the things you kind of want in this kind of more adventure setting it's not the kind of game where you're going to be like immersive kind of uh setting things into it where you uh can role play you can role play in the game if you like of course but you can't like oh i'm gonna chop wood and and uh be a lot uh you could technically do that i guess in this game um it's not going to really do you much good in the sense of progressing but if you really wanted to do that you could but um it's not like you can barkeep or something and then uh make money in like a life or something like that. It's it really does push you to the adventure side of things, which is I think fine to me. Um 
it is a game that is always oh my god uh per, i want to say pretty cheap it's because it is it's ten dollars at the moment uh it is and you can buy a four pack which is 30 so you save ten dollars on it it's worth way more than ten dollars uh if this game came out back then was 30 to 40 dollars i would pay it i would probably pay it if they asked me to pay 60 i would even maybe consider it but they're a wonderful team that really listens to people it probably was 20 20 bucks maybe when it came out uh but right now ten dollars is a steal especially on sale you could probably get it for three to two dollars no this game is worth so much money um i have put 113 hours into it that's not a lot for some people some people might think that's a crazy number but no it's probably not a lot for people but keep in mind um for anyone that does watch this this far in i'm going to probably remake this one at some point i'm so sorry i know i'm all over the place um i'm a little tired but uh this game please take with my whole heart that it is um, a wonderful game to play uh, 10 out of 10 absolutely do recommend this one hope like play it with your with your being because it will get you such joy uh but that'll be it as always I'd like to ask you to like and comment if you have played which is pretty likely uh what was your kind of more preferred class in this game what was your favorite weapon to play with who was your favorite boss to fight against? Those are all wonderful things you could comment. Um, if you haven't played, I do, of course, heavily recommend this one to you. Um, it is a game good for any age to play. Um, get your friends into it. it I, you would, you'll all have a wonderful time, I think. Um, but as always, as well, I'd like to ask you to subscribe if you do, I think, are wonderful. If you don't, I still think are wonderful, so it's completely up to you. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.